Hello everyone, my name is Tiffany and this is my channel, Who's Your Handmade? Thank you so much for stopping by today. In today's video, I am talking to you about my July sewing plans. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by today. And if you are one of my returning friends, thank you so, so much for following along on my sewing journey and for coming back video after video. It means so very much to me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Let me know what your July sewing plans are. Do you know what they are? Do you even make plans? Let me know down below in the comment section. I am endeavoring to make some set plans for July. I'm trying to make a list this month because it's been a little bit hard to get back up on the horse around here after vacation and lots of family activities. So I think a list of projects and patterns, fabrics paired up for me will be very beneficial to kind of steer me towards more sewing, hopefully in the month of July. All of these projects are for me. Now, if you know anything about me, you know I love sewing for my three-year-old daughter, Addie. I don't have any plans for her throughout the month of July, but some will probably creep in. And really, these plans that I'm sharing with you today is just kind of a list of some things that I would like to get to. I might not get to all of them, but at least it'll give me some direction. So let's jump right into my July sewing plans. I participated in Me Made May, and what Me Made May really highlighted to me was that I need new bottom uh, bottom pieces for my wardrobe, skirts and um, that kind of a thing for my wardrobe. I don't have very many. I tended to use the same ones over and over again. So I need some variety in my wardrobes. So this month I'm really focusing in on those bottom pieces. Uh, most of these are skirt patterns. So definitely a lot of skirts going on this month. Not quite the most amazing fabric choices. I'm trying to be real and trying to choose fabrics from my stash that I know that I will wear as a bottom piece. That's the color of skirt that I would pair with something already in my wardrobe. So I'm trying to be conscientious of the fabric choices. They're not always the most spectacular or dazzling, uh, but they're definitely gonna be useful. But I do have one shirt on my July sewing plans and let's do that one right now. This is the Love Notions Classic Tee. I've had it in my stash for a long time. I have never tried this t-shirt and I need to try out some more basic a tea patterns and I want to give this one a try. Let me show you my fabric. It is absolutely beautiful. I've had this one for a long time y'all. This has been in my stash for a long time and you can even see the original sticker still on here. If you know what the sticker stands for you know this is from Fabric Mart Fabrics and just look at this fabric. It just screams summertime. It really does. Looks like a picture picnic <laughs> in fabric form. So I really like this one. It is called Steel Blue Persian Red White Golden Yellow Polyester Rayon Lycra Floral. It was $5.60 and I have a yard of it. So that classic tee for my size takes about a yard and an eighth for the short sleeve version. So I have this to use only a yard. So I thought I would use some rib knit along with it. I have this steel blue color from Hobby Lobby for like the neck band and even sleeves if I need to um, use those for sleeves. But that will be my classic tee. <laughs> okay, let's slide right into those bottom garment pieces. I'm going to start out with this one. I have shown this one before. This is the True Bias Maeve. I love this skirt. These are super popular right now for summer, those tiered flowy uh, skirts, and I want one. <laughs> I want one really badly, so I really love the length she has on. You can play with the tiers and the length of the skirt. 
For example, she's wearing more of the mid-length a skirt, but she's put three tiers on there. So that's really neat. You can kind of play around with what tiers and what length you want. So I'm definitely gonna go for the three tier, I think. I really like the three tiered look that she is wearing right there. Pick some fabric from my stash. Yet again, this I have a lot of, and that's why I chose this. I'm not super in love with this fabric, but I do have an absolute ton of this fabric. So I know it would be enough for all of those layers. And the layers are gonna be quite big, I imagine, because there's a lot of gathering. So this is a woven from Joann's. It's kind of thin. I can see light through it. Hopefully when I gather it, it will be opaque and you won't be able to see through it. But a pretty green color, it's like a sage green. And it'll definitely be good enough for me to use to try out the Maeve skirt for the first time. The next skirt pattern that I want to try is from Love Notions. This is the Allegro pattern. I'm calling it the Allegro pattern because there's a ton of options with this pattern. You get shorts, you get a long skirt, you get a short skirt. So many pattern options. I want to go for the longer skirt. I want to go for the longer skirt, but my fabric stash is what it is. I'm not going and buying any more fabrics right now, so I'm having to work within the constraints of my stash, and I found this beautiful fabric that I really want to try this Allegro uh, skirt in, so I think I'm going to have to do a shorter length because of the fabric that I have. Take a look at this really neat fabric. It's like a chambray uh, linen type fabric, again, from Joann's. I have used this before. I used it for a Pepper Magazine pocket skirt. Is that what it's called? It's that free uh, pattern that has those giant pockets on the side. I think I used this fabric for that, but I would love to use this one for an Allegro skirt. Just a really neat kind of chambray linen-like fabric but I don't have a ton of it left. So hopefully I can get the shorter version of the Allegro done in this chambray fabric. The next pattern is also from Love Notions. This is one of my newer Love Notions patterns. This is the Tinley skirt, shorts, and skort. <laughs> Again, Love Notions gives you so many options with their patterns. I want to go for the skort if I can. And I've picked out some athletic fabric uh, from my stash. Again, not that riveting of a choice, but I do love an athletic skort. I think they're very comfortable. I wear them a lot during the summer. So this is a nice gray athletic fabric that I purchased from, again, Joann's. It's been in my stash for a while. I have a lot of it, so I know that it could be used for the skirt and the shorts that need to go under the skirt there. So just a dark kind of charcoal gray color. And I think this will work out just fine for that Tinley skirt. The next pattern that I want to show you is not exactly a skirt, <laughs> although it kind of looks that way. This is the Peekaboo Patterns Women's Culottes pattern. I have never made culottes before, but I think they are so neat. They look like a skirt. They're very full like a skirt, but they're actually pants. They're short. So I can't wait to give this one a try and see how it goes. I picked out some interesting fabric to try these culottes in. This pattern says you can use a woven or knit fabric for these culottes and I have chose a crinkle fabric. Do you see how crinkly it is? It's been in my stash a while. You can kind of tell it's collected some <laughs> pieces of lint. I, I have quite a bit of it. I think I could get some really flowy kind of culottes in this and hopefully this will work for a first attempt at those uh, culottes. So I think they would be really flowy and drapey with this crinkle fabric. We'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> and I do have one more plan for July, but I need your help with that. And I'm not going to say too much more, but I've never done a subscriber or viewer's choice 
and I think I think I need some help for July so stick around subscribe if you have not done so already and uh, give me your advice your suggestion for a viewer's choice but hold on I will let you know more about that in a future video and those are my plans for the month of July I don't know what I will get accomplished some of these might be easy so some of them might be more difficult a lot of these are woven fabrics which I'm trying to use more of this year it's kind of a goal of mine to break away from my beloved knit fabric so those might tend to be a little bit more challenging for me but I will try my best and take you all along on the journey don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below like I said let me know if you've set any July plans I would love to chat with you down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.